Gadget Day 39, shall we call it, Night 39. I'm solo, and uh, I decided to, what the heck, somebody left this stuff behind. So I decided to make my first fire by myself. Um, you can see the shelter trail where I came up. There. We don't care about bears. We hang our food right inside the shelter. Or shall I say I? That's where I'll be sleeping. Got everything hanging up all nice and good. Fire starting to roar. There's not too much wood around. So I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this going, but it sure feels nice. You know, this is how we do it out in the wild. So, kind of a nice view of nothing except woods. You can see the sign right here. It says water's 50 feet that way, which I already went and got. The trail in the morning heads to my left. 13 miles to the first shelter tomorrow. Oh, this is great. I've been wanting a fire for so long. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go uh, scavenge up some wood, see how long we can keep this sucker going. I don't plan on staying up too late. My food is already cooking. I'm having rice, broccoli, mixed with summer sausage. Summer sausage, broccoli, rice, some garlic pepper. Uh, let's see uh, if this is green enough. Yeah, it doesn't look like it'll burn. So, these are the things you do. This is uh, the first fire I've started in 39 days. And I used my jet boil to aim it on there to get it going because the paper didn't want to light with a lighter. And I learned right off the bat carry two or three lighters because the jet boil is a big failure when it comes to the clicker. So jet boil, that's something you're going to have to work on. It worked a couple times and every once in a while it still works but I don't really think it was meant for everyday use. I'm kind of impressed <laughs> by my fire starting skills. Let's see what this will do here. Oh, that's dry. So, you can see I got the socks hanging up, drying them out, sleeping bag ready to go, got my camelback right here full of three liters, and my platypus down there with one liter. I'll drink that soon, fill it back up with that. Here's my dinner. Good, just about ready to eat next to the fire. 
So, all in all, I would say this is a pretty successful day, did 23 miles, and what better than a nice fire after 23 miles, I tell you. We can just get it to burn on the other side, I'll hold off on these for a while. going. So, there you have it. Gadget starts fires too. Um, this, this all looks too green, but once I get a nice bed of coals, who knows, I may be able to break it down. There you have it. Got me some Jameson Iris whiskey that I'm sipping on. Where's that? Not too much left though. The coolest thing is, got the party lights. Bam. Really works good at night. It's like my little night light. As long as this fire stays going, it's nice of somebody to leave some magazine that nobody reads. Give it a blow from the other side. And we have fire. See how the tips open? Oh, the tips of these are kind of nice. Remember, kids, only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> and that'd be the Jameson talking. Whew. You can tell when the green stuff hits because it gets a little smoky. Once it gets going, I'll throw this bad boy on there. Hopefully we'll have a fire for it's uh, 518. I did 23 point something miles today. And tomorrow I have a minimum of 25 miles. I'm supposed to catch up with the boys. They went ahead of me at Daleville, which was the uh, day before yesterday. on top because by the time I push the coals down it should dry out the greenness a little 
and then I'll save that dryer stuff for when it starts to die down. The dry stuff should just spark it right back up. get everything up by the heat here and let it try to dry out somewhat before I have to use it. I don't see this being any use right there. The thing about having one eye, you gotta watch this kind of stuff. Don't want it poking me up. Kind of like, not the things you like to do after a big long day, but I tell you what, fire really lifts the spirits nice and good. funny because all the shelters I don't want to start a fire at, there's lots of wood. And then the time that I want to start a fire, there's not that much wood. Although by the looks of this, it doesn't look too bad, huh? too hard. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab a band-aid to stop the bleeding on that. Just because I don't want to drip it all over and make a mess on my stuff. I'll put this back in the shelter for the next person that comes along. A little shot of Jameson. Cheers, bottoms up. Got about maybe two swigs left. Make that two or three. And uh, see how my dinner's looking. Look at that. Mm. All right. 
Dinner's ready. Fire's going. Don't know what much else to ask for. It's beautiful. The good thing is it's only 5:24. I think I'm gonna take my jacket off and go sit by the fire. Actually, no. First, I need a bandaid. So, this is Gadget signing out for the night. If the weather isn't too bad tomorrow, I'll make another video, but the rain, they say, is supposed to start at 5 o'clock today. It's a little late. It's sprinkled on and off, but uh, nothing to get me wet. So, like I said, I got curry rice with garlic pepper, broccoli, summer sausage, the things you would never, ever think of eating at home, but this is how we do it kind of wish there was a little rake, because there's always a shovel at the, maybe up by the privy, the privy's kind of right over there, I don't know if you can see it, right through there, that's where you go for your morning little bathroom, so usually there's a rake around because they want you to rake these leaves up as like a compost type thing, so uh, we'll go check that out, <coughs> see if there's a rake, and we can rake up all these small twigs, throw it on there. But I can feel the heat from here. This is beautiful. Wish I had people to, that I loved, like my little schmoopy doopy, to enjoy it with. But we'll do some little camping trips, overnighters, coming this summer. And uh, that's about all I have for tonight. I'm going to turn this sucker off and eat my dinner get inside the sleeping bag, do some journaling, write a little bit about the day, and uh, I guess I'll take a quick jaunder over to the water, just to show you how I got my water today, maybe find some wood along the way. So, it's really kind of cool, here's my water source. trickling down mountain water. I purify it, of course, with uh, Aquamira. So, I might as well grab some up while I'm here. I'm usually in bed before 7 o'clock, so to have a nice hour-long fire make me feel nice and good for tomorrow morning. The boys are, they met up with the family tonight. One of uh, Bundy's friends offered to take them in for the night, feed them. But because I stayed in Daleville resting my ankle, I'm missing out on that, which I don't much mind. I kind of really enjoy being by myself because it's been whole trip I haven't really been by myself at all. This is only my second night solo. And I kind of enjoy it. I mean, we all like company. And so do I, don't get me wrong. But it's nice to experience these kind of things on your own. So. There you have it. Now I'm going to do what I said five minutes ago and get a band-aid on that. Nothing too big of a deal. Just a little blood. Wind's kicking up. Should keep my fire going good. Hopefully it don't spread everything around, cause a big forest fire like in Roanoke. But uh, I just want to say hi to everybody back home. And if you watched this before, we all watch it together. Just know I'm thinking of all of you and missing all of you. And I supposedly have 61 more days to finish. 
currently about four days behind schedule. But I don't think that's going to be too big of a problem. Because the miles just keep adding up. Alright everybody. Peace, love, and happiness. I love my baby. Sammy, Casper, Mr. Mike for this awesome camera. Ryan Wanger for the journal. Andreas for the spot. Activation anyway. My brother Craig for uh, actually buying the spot. Hazel and Howard and Ashley. Ashley, my cousin, for the plane ticket. Hazel, you just sent me a nice care package with some dinero and lots of junk food. Appreciate that. Uh, Facebook buddy Chris Contella. I don't know if I said his last name right. I've never met him, but he donated to St. Jude's. People I've met on the trail said they're going to donate. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Brian Redhead at the bar who offered to buy my ticket, but because it was done over a late night when we were kind of buzzed, I didn't want to hold him to that. But he's still going to make a nice donation with his company, I'm sure. He sent me a text just two days ago. I appreciate that. Just want you to know I got it. I sent you a text back. And man, this is just wonderful. Beautiful. I'm so excited right now. I just don't want to turn it off, but I have to go put a band on this. Just because I know the wife would be upset if I didn't. So much dirt and all that around. She'd be like, it's going to get infected. I have antiseptic wipes, baby. I will clean it up good, I promise.